So everybody, we're back, and um, well, I was working on that whole drill thing, right? So when I started this pack, I did, I took out all the generators from all the mod packs and added simple generators, and then there was the matter overdrive um, reactor, and I put in um, big reactors. Well, big reactors wouldn't work. And then I came to think of it, I thought the matter overdrive reactor was overkill because it didn't seem to, I couldn't find anything that I couldn't do with, you know, just the simple reactors or simple generators. So, um, I, I didn't think I'd ever actually need it, but now that I actually look at this, this drill system, um, it needs... Three billion, three hundred and sixty million RF to get to the next tier, and that's just like that's just insane. Like, so I thought you know I could pretty much build it around this because well, this is the only thing in the pack that I could legitimately use it for. Like, uh, the matter overdrive reactor is so powerful that I could power everything in my base right now just using that reactor. So I'm thinking that if I use it with the, um, uh, the energetic infuser, I'll be able to, you know, get this powered up at like maximum, maximum speed. <laughs> Excuse me. I have a little bit of a, a little bit of a cough. So what we're going to do this episode is I'm going to build that reactor, and then hopefully, hopefully, at some point, I'll be able to uh, get back into Abyssal Craft. But as I said before, I'm a little bit... I'm, I'm a little bit unsure on what to do, and I've been trying to figure out what to do to make it, you know, make it work right, but... Yeah, no, it's just not... It's just not, um... I don't know what to do with it. That, that's just pretty much the, the long and short of it. Like I have some ideas, but I I need to I need some guidance, you know. So I went through all my enchantment books, as you can see, I filled up this with enchantment books, and I enchanted my bag with Holding Four and Soulbound Three. I'm not entirely sure what Soulbound One, Two, and Three do. I know like Soulbound, if you die, you get to keep it, but I don't know what the tiers are for, like One, Two, and Three. That doesn't make sense to me. Like, you get to keep it, or you get to keep it more? You get to keep it, like, three times over? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand, but, you know, I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. So I've been using the enchantment extractor. Now, I had all this hooked up over here, and then I moved this generator over here because it stopped getting fish. And it turned out that when I went AFK, it actually burnt through all 2,000 trout I had. So... I tried to switch it over to salmon, but it wouldn't take, it wouldn't take, it wouldn't move salmon, like, I don't know why. It would do fish, but it wouldn't move salmon, like, no matter what I did. So, I went over here, and I set this up, and I put, oh, that's, it's gone. Why is that all gone? Okay, well, I guess it burnt through all those salmon, too. But, um, so, I got, I went through... Two or three thousand salmon, and probably two thousand eggs, to uh, power this drill up to the stage that it's at now. And that's when I realized that I will burn through all my resources way before I get this to where I need it to be. So let's get crafting. <clears throat> so to make this device, we need one controller, we need one decomposer, but I. But you, I think you make two, like two decomposers, is um, is how like most people do it. So I'm probably just gonna make two of them, and then you need nine of these, and then twelve of these, and then six of these. Now, don't quote me because I've only ever done, I only ever successfully built this one time. So let's get to it. One thing we're going to need, probably, 
is a bunch of these isolinear circuits, which I'm not sure how many of those I have. We gotta get crafting those. I have two. So let's make, uh, I guess, a stack. It's probably more than what we need. But that's fine. Iron, redstone, and glass is not something I'm really hurting hurting for, so let's uh let's make I guess 32 uh, do you know what? I don't have that much gold. So let's just make let's make all the gold I got. So um to do this, I had this set up to auto feed, and I'm not sure if it's still set up to do that. I may have took that out. But if it if it auto feeds, then it should stack. I just have it with eggs right now, so I'm not sure if it's gonna auto feed to this. I guess we could we could reset that up. So now that that'll auto feed, and that should make all 13 of those into gold ones. And then it'll pull it out too. So perfect. <clears throat> now this will this will take a couple of minutes. So let's see how am I doing on titanium plates? Is the next thing to look into. Tritanium plates. I have six. So let's go ahead and take Let's do twenty five. And I think this machine, this big conglomeration of a mess I have over here, I think it's actually causing things to lag. I think that might be what it is. But, I mean, I pretty much had the same thing um, set up downstairs. I mean, pretty much exactly the same. So, I, I don't know, maybe the, the village is getting too big. I probably have over 50 citizens now. Plus the machines. It might just be like... Like, when I don't have the camera on, it doesn't seem to bother it too much, but I think the camera pushes it overboard. Alright. We'll just have to, uh, we'll just have to work with that as we, as we go. So let's, uh, get diamonds here. I'm gonna need, probably do... Probably gonna need more than eight, but we're gonna make eight and see how that goes. Simply because, well, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see how that plays out. Uh, let's see what we can craft right now. So, like I said, I need four, eight, sixteen of these. I'm gonna need more plates than that. Crap. All right, let's. Uh, don't worry, guys. I got this. Uh, Tritanium. Let's get these. Well, let's grab these. Put that back in there. And then let's grab one, two, three, four of those. And we'll turn all those into plates. I was going to try to, like, fly over there and get it, but that's not going to work. So let's go and grab those, put those in there. That won't take long. I'll have the, I'll have all the plates I need long before the isolinears are done. So, let's, uh, nine, And it's still going to take a minute, I guess. I need seven more of these. What can I do with this? Oh, this takes a bunch of these things. And that takes a bunch of those things, which takes a bunch of these things, which... I should be alright with all that stuff. Let's go and take and break down a couple more of these. And so I need... A bunch of these. Let's do... Let's 
see where 24 gets us. I should have mathed all this out beforehand, but you know how that goes. So I need 3, 6, 10 of these. So I need 40 of these. What am I missing? Oh, I see. Alright, they're in my inventory. I was like, I'm pretty sure I had enough of those. I got 11. That's one more than what I needed, but oh well. Okay, so now... We need to make one of these, which I need a diamond one of those, but I need this holographic sign thingy. Do that. And that's a whole other ball game. Let's try to focus on one thing at a time here. We need one of these. I need gold. Okay, well, I know a place to get gold. Let's go in. Let's just go and get all the village gold. That's that's there. So I think I have every individual person you can get. Like I find I just got an enchanter today. So, I think that's the last of everybody I could get. Let's see here. Ten. That's all we got is ten. That's not very much. Aha! That should auto-smelt. No, I should auto-crush it and then smelt it, hopefully. With the speed of our machines, it should be done already. Oh, uh, come on. I'm about to, like, break down the wall. There we go. Alright. So now, as far as gold's concerned, we should have enough, hopefully. So I need... should have everything we need for that except for the diamond isolinear thingy. Okay, and we need one of these. That takes a diamond. I need six more of these. Now, I need... I need one more. Oh, crap. <laughs> Okay, so if I want to make this guy, I don't have a diamond one made yet? No way. What is this guy doing? Come on. Come on. Okay. I only need one of these. 
we need one more of these. So those are done. Get rid of this. Let me get rid of this. Uh, where are my fusion reactors? Seven, I need two more of these. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I need two more of those. Okay. Those are done. And get rid of that. Now we need the matter decomposer, which takes this and some sticky pistons. Let's see what we got here. Got the plates. We're getting there. Let's, uh... Two of those. Two of those. One of those. One of these. One of those. <laughs> and then we have diamond wing it? We do. Okay, that's done. Actually, I need technically I need two of these or one more of these, and I think I think for material sake, I'm just gonna make another one of these. Okay, now all we need is four or six gravitational stabilizers, which I will need 12 of these. Twelve more of these. Oh boy. Okay, let's just make as many as we can. That's not... It's not that big of a deal. Just... It's not going to be too unstable until we start chucking, like, just chucking stuff into it. Okay, that will be a good start. Let, let's go and build this thing. Uh, the stabilizers make it... Okay, so when this thing gets out of control, it can break blocks within a radius. And right now, it's at its, like, base base level. Like, it's as weak as it can... It's as weak as it's going to get. Like, right now. So... Now is pretty much the time to go ahead and set this up. Now, I think I'm going to put these guys top and bottom, maybe. And I'm pretty sure if I place it like this, it's going to be going the wrong way. I guess we'll find out. I kind of uh, did this so it's like a template, so I can build around without getting sucked into the thingy, which, how am I stuck? Like, I built this like three, three blocks away. There we go. Sometimes when you get stuck in there, it's hard to get unstuck. Okay, so right now, I need a piece of dirt. Come on. Okay. 
Now this guy is going to go dead center in the middle. I don't want it to be like that. Um, I thought I could just like turn it if if I had the wrench, but I guess I can't. So I gotta figure out which way I gotta put it. That's not how I wanna put that. Why does it wanna be like that? Alright, so what happens if I do this? Not what I wanted to do, but I guess it'll work. Is that centered? I don't think that's centered. Ah, uh, great. Oh, great. Don't worry, guys. I am a professional. I have done this not enough times. Okay. But now, if it's like that, I'm not going to be able to see it. Like, how stupid is this? God, now it's doing it right. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, boy. Okay, so if I'm facing the block from underneath, it works right. So if I go bam, and bam, and then come down here, no, no, um, so the reason this is so difficult is because you've got to be kidding me. The reason this is so hard is because the gravitational anomaly pulls you in. So it's moving me around while I'm trying to click things and place things and it's not it's not how it should be. It makes things more difficult. And now I lost my other... No, that's not it. Where'd my doohickey go? And that's one of the reasons I built the dirt case around it. So that it won't suck in my pieces. If it sucks in my pieces, then I gotta remake them. Or, you know, cheat them in. And, which is more likely what I would do. Because making this stuff once is annoying enough.
fly. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just gonna settle for however it can get there. That looks good enough to me. Alright. This is why I usually, this is why the last time I built this, I did it off camera. Because this is just, this is just, I don't even know. Like, the most complicated thing. So close. All right. Focus. All right. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Okay. So now, one, two, three. And then, these guys go on the corners. Like, I, I would try to do this with a building gadget, but I'm not sure if these are considered tile entities or not. And the building gadget doesn't do that, so... Better safe than sorry, I suppose. And then, one... Two... Oh, no! How is that facing? I guess that's the front, right? That's alright by me. Close enough. I can fix it up later if I... If I feel the need. couldn't decide which one I wanted to use, and then I decided that this one's probably the best, because it has the least amount of, like, interference with anything else. The other one's kind of close to my abyssal craft stuff, and then, like, this one is, like, right above my house, so I figured it'd be a good way of doing it.
then I just gotta hope I'm doing it right. Because if I did it wrong, then I'll have to redo it again. You dirty, rotten jack. Okay, and I can't... Oh, this is not the time to mess with me, pal. So here's a cool little little thing I, I need to mention. If you hit these guys with a sword made of Electrum that has a charge, it turns them into Zephyrs. So, that's uh, a tip for anyone playing the RL Craft mod. If you if you turn them, if you hit them with something that's electric charged or electric based, or turn them into Zephyrs. Which I think I might test that theory with like the Electro Blobs electric disc spell and see if uh, see if that does it. Where'd it go? Okay. Let's hope that's right. Let's hope I can get away from the anomaly. Get away from the anomaly. Lie. Okay. Now let's hope that's right. And the only way to find out now is to... Well, I wonder if I can... Yeah, I can't. It's too long ago. I built that a while ago. Okay, where to shoot me? Where am I? 520 meters away. That is a total wow. Like, that's a total, like, wow. See, I think the gravitational anomaly has a chance to slingshot you to another gravitational anomaly. Where, like, you go in one and come out another. Which is kind of cool, but it does damage to you, too. Like, it could literally have killed me, but... Like I said, this one right now is pretty, pretty weak. The biggest thing I gotta worry about right now is if these here, this thing is placed the right way. In which we'll find out soon. Chickens, what's up?
All right, let's, uh... Okay, good enough. Now let's uh, see if we can get this some power. That guy. I think I need to give my village some more space. I had a tree cutter over here cutting down my my tree farm trees. I, I'm going to put a fence up, I think. And I need to get it some matter. So let's see. Um, and this will produce power according to how much matter it has. Which I will demonstrate if we can get this done before, you know, it's an unreasonable amount of time for an episode. The trick is going to be getting my culinary thing back without it getting sucked in. I could do this. Maybe. You know what? I got a tool for this job. Okay, got it back. Good. Now let's uh let's eliminate this. And now we should be getting somewhere. The only thing that I'm worried about is the gravitational stabilizer it doesn't seem to be working. So I think I have it on the wrong way. And if that's the case, I don't know what to do to fix that. See, if you become an android, you can stop that from happening. But I don't want to become an android. Not this time. I don't know if there's a way to stop it, like, without becoming an android.
I'm just not quick enough. That <laughs> got me anyway. Well, what are you? Well, that's one of those things I fought before. Are you messing with my chickens? 750 health. That guy's a pain. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm just gonna get him away from my chickens. I don't think that's right, because I think it should be, like, emitting a beam of light. Which... is a whole other problem. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. That doesn't even make sense. You know, that's what it's supposed to look like, but it's supposed to shoot that way. Um, I think... You know, I don't know what to think. Um... You're kidding me. Such a pain. I think that's still wrong. I don't know. Got one right. We got one right, guys. Alright. So now that's gonna help stabilize this. I'll fix the other one later. Like, at this stage of the game, this one's, like, more than enough. 
So, let's see here. This is how much matter it got from one, one or two tripwire hooks. So this thing is going to feed matter into, into this, and it's going to produce power. Right now it's doing 200 FB per tick. Now, watch this. Let's go into here and get... Actually, let's get rid of all that junk. So just... Right now it's 200 FB per tick. Let me guess, none of that went in there. If I got that close, you know, it would draw me in, but... I'm getting quite a... quite a horde going on. So, it's not showing it, but here, this matter dust ain't no good for anything. So if I just take all this and just throw it away. Now, if I go up here take a look at this, it is producing 208 per tick, which isn't very much, but, I mean, I throw, like, I don't know, a couple stacks of name tags in there, or a couple enchanted books, that will be, it'll increase big time. Oh no. No you don't. My flight's like biting it. Oh great. It's not pulling me in. That's cool. Alright. Now that should have increased it. Like, 250 is my guess. 301. Alright. So now if I go and... Um... I do that, and I go down here. I grab this guy. I 
guess we'll just place him right here for now. Then we'll give this a signal. This should produce a ridiculous amount of power. I mean, not right, not right this minute, but I mean, after I throw, you know, a hundred more enchanted books in there, it'll be pretty ridiculous. So let's go and grab our drill. Oh, by the way, I upgraded this to Signalium. Um, this this drill uses a lot of power too, so like it doesn't just consume it; like it uses a lot of power. And see now it's like it's like fighting it so it's getting like the maximum amount the only thing i could do better would be it's it's still struggling Okay, I, I think. Am, am I winning? I don't. I don't think I'm winning. I'm not really losing either. <laughs> there you have it. Now we'll just let this here uh, do its thing for a little bit. Let's go do a quick little test run, and then we'll we'll end the episode. Uh, totally, this is totally my first time using this. I have never used this drill before, so whatever you may think, I definitely did not test this at any time before this episode. I definitely didn't play with this without you guys. I swear, you know, there's no way. Wow, what a coincidence. This thing is exactly the same size as this room. That's, that's wicked. I can't believe Minecraft would put a put a cavern in here like that. That's weird. It's so weird. Oh, there you go. I don't think. I don't think I can increase it anymore. Yeah, right now it's just nine by nine. So, I'll have to. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get it, you know, to the the maximum, crazy thirteen by thirteen by thirteen or whatever. Let's see, drill. Yeah, if I get it all the way to the maximum, you know, nine quadratrillion, I don't even know, like, that's like billions, trillions, it's two past trillion, so it's going to take a little while, but, I mean, now that I have uh, my energy thing up and running, it's not impossible, it's just going to be... You know, pretty much just letting it run the whole time I'm doing other things. Um, dude? I think there's a dude in the wall. What are you doing in there? You're a weird one. Pendle Hayward. But before I increase that into, like, the thousands, I'll have to get that other stabilizer or maybe a couple more. Like, right now, I had everything to worry about. I had, um, 
I think I had, okay, you can fly now, there we go, I think I had, um, my last generator up to, like, 3,600 something, and I, but I had all six on it, but, I mean, I could have got away with probably two or three, so, for now, this will, this will do. Alright, guys, thanks for watching, and, uh, Abyssal Craft, very soon. Later on.